I mean, it is an absolute joke. It would be funny if it wasn't so serious. Victor Osserman is one of the best forwards in the world. His goals helped Napoli win the title last season. He was a top scorer in Serie A. And he's been mocked and insulted on social media by his own club, not by opposition supporters. There's these two videos that I've seen. One of them is racist. They've both been deleted. Osserman is waiting for an apology. There hasn't been an apology forthcoming from Napoli so far. And his agent has come out on social media and said this is a very serious matter. This is totally unacceptable. We want an apology. But so far, we haven't heard anything out of Napoli. I've contacted Napoli, and I think, reading between their lines, uh, what they seem to think is that this has been blown out of all proportion. And it was just a joke on TikTok meant for children who consume the content that is on TikTok. Well, Victor Osserman doesn't think it's a joke. He's virtually removed every single picture of himself in a Napoli kit from his Instagram profile today, and he's still waiting for an apology. Now, interestingly, he's in the squad for Napoli's game this evening against Udinese. He was filmed arriving at the Napoli team hotel this afternoon. He had his earphones in. I think he greeted the team manager, but he ignored some of his teammates who were waiting there to say hello to him. So his state of mind is confused, upset and angry and still waiting for an apology from Napoli. Absolutely astonishing. All right, so what's his contract situation? What I'm saying is, how can he get out of there and when can he get out of there? I mean, that, that's a good question, Mike. I mean, he's got two years left on his contract, but I think we've got to be a little bit careful here because I've seen lots of stories appearing today on social media about, oh, look, he's fallen out with Napoli. Does it mean he's going to move? Is he going to come to the Premier League? Is he going to go to Saudi Arabia? And this, I think, could feed a dangerous narrative because you've got the situation where there's some supporters thinking, oh, he's just complaining about this because he doesn't want to sign a new contract and he wants to get a lucrative move away from Napoli. So in a way, I think we should shut down all talk of transfers and where he could be going next and concentrate on the real story. And the real story is that the champions of Italy have mocked and offended and insulted one of the best African players in the world and it's about time they apologise to him.